Welcome back to Morning Mika. We're just five weeks away from the Forbes and Know Your Value third annual 3050 Summit in Abu Dhabi. The summit focuses on creating cross-generational alliances and provides guidance and insights to women at every stage of their careers, while also offering diverse perspectives and rich cultural immersion. We've already announced a slate of great speakers, Shania Twain, former Liberian President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, personal finance expert Susie Orman, so many more. Whom, what else are we looking forward to? Do we have any more announcements? Well, you know, we, we're, we're so excited to continue to announce uh, names of women who are coming. We announced, uh, you know, Maitreya Ramakrishnan, who's this young Canadian uh, actress, just kind of breaking the mold, number one best-selling show in 50 countries when it, when it debuted. But, you know, what I really am looking forward to is the kinds of conversations that we're going to be having in addition to these extraordinary speakers. We're going to be talking about women's economic empowerment, how to grow our wealth. We're going to be talking about the importance of women in conflict, their leadership in conflict, how to the opportunity to grow that leadership. We're going to be talking about women who are building cutting edge technology and investing in that technology. We're going to have conversations about how to grow your business in the Middle East. We're going to be having conversations about e-commerce and the future of sustainable fashion and about cryptocurrency and about, you know, personal finance. All of these things that are, you know, both cross-generational, but talking about bringing people together globally. We keep talking about Abu Dhabi being the crossroads of the world, and right now so much is happening in that region. And so I really am looking to deep dive into some of these uh, topics with a lot of our guests and our speakers and panelists. So for more on how to get involved, go to knowyourvalue.com. We want to answer your questions now. We reached out to the Know Your Value community and wanted to know what your burning questions were for the three of us, Jen, next week. Um, so we've got some fun ones. Let's get started. Kelly on Instagram asks, you all are high performing women. Okay, thank you. How many hours of sleep do you get a day? I don't get enough. Simone. <laughs> <laughs> same, same. I mean, I'll probably go to bed between 12 and 2 Ooh. on a weekday. I know, right? I know. That's very ah, late for you, Mika. Very I late. Can't do that. That's late but for on Fridays, me. <laughs> yeah, well, on Fridays and Saturdays, I'm going to bed at 7 p.m. Uh huh. That's me every night. Huma, how about you? <laughs> I don't get enough either. I need eight hours of sleep. I rarely get it. Me too. So Catherine on Instagram wants to know what Huma's been up to. <laughs> is, she, is she working for the Clinton Foundation? I admire her so much. We all admire you. I, well, just as much as I admire the two of you, what I have been up to is this, is Morning Mika. This is the highlight of my life. I, I have, you know, I, to be honest, Mika, the fact that you saw something in me uh, over a year ago has been just, I, you know, I, I really want to work hard to make my team proud. And I look at Simone and Saki, Jen, we call her Saki, but two of my colleagues who I've seen in other roles and to see all of us kind of grow in different ways and spaces, like it just makes me feel very proud to be part of the Morning Mika team. Simone, she's going to make us cry. I know, oh, right? I love them. Like nice. <laughs> all right. That's a lot. Nora on Instagram asks, for all of you, what is your favorite comfort food and why? I'll go first. Mini melts. I make Joe drive to every 7-Eleven in our county to get all the mini melts, cotton candy flavored. Simone. Um, it would have to be almond Hershey kisses. Oh, yeah, those are good. Huma. So good. Ice cream and French fries, there preferably together. Try the mini melts, guys. <laughs> Katie on Instagram says the job search for a 56-year-old is tough. How do you work on confidence? Oh, Katie, I'll take this. I got this. Hold my beer, guys. Um, Katie. You have to be so confident. Think about this. Your age is your value, mm -hmm. right? You can offer all of you to the job. You, as opposed to someone in their 20s and 30s and 40s, you've got a lot of things that, I don't know, cause a lot of drama behind you, right? Whether it's been divorce or having kids or taking time off or this and that, you are now ready to give your all to that job. And that should be the vibe that you bring into room, that you're so excited to be able to devote yourself to this job or this project or uh, whatever it is that you're applying for. So to me, the confidence comes from your ability and and. Uh, availability uh, to focus completely on the job. That's something that a younger woman actually can't honestly say she can do when she's trying to navigate a lot of different things. So this is your strength. Revel in it. 
And finally, Mike on Instagram asks me, how much fun is your job working with Joe every day? Well, I actually love it. 24-7, <laughs> it's never enough. What can I say? I bet they thought I'd say something funny, Simone. Like, they ah, did. They were waiting. Crazy. They were like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> No. I actually really love being with him. It is so Aww. much fun. And I can't believe Morning Joe has been on the air for, are we on 16 or 17 years? 17. We're going on 17. 17. Amazing. I'm a certifiable, for sure. Should we do this again next week? We should. Yeah. Please. Uma. Every yes, Thursday. Please. I'm in. I, I think the questions need to be more personal. Okay? Yeah, so if you didn't have a chance. Yeah. Ask us anything, folks. Literally right. anything. Okay? Yeah. We want you, we, we to get to know you. We want you to get to know us. Yeah. Okay, so if you didn't have a chance to ask your question or you were too embarrassed to ask something way too personal, head to Know Your Value on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or X, or LinkedIn. Submit yours today, and we'll have them for you next week. That does it for Morning Mika. We'll be back next week on YouTube and Peacock.